Hey guys, it's Dominic here. Uh, I just wanted to go ahead and uh, help you guys out because I know a couple of you guys are struggling with dealing with the custom libraries and compiling your code. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is uh, open up a terminal and a web browser in Linux. And then once you have that open, uh, I have a link down below. So you want to go ahead and put that link in the web browser. And that'll take you to a page that some of you might be familiar with because I linked to it earlier in one of my posts. And then once you've done that, you want to go ahead and copy and paste from the web browser. Um, and also you want to, in the terminal, you want to type wget with uh, web, web get. So you want to do that and then you want to go ahead and paste in the uh, the link down below and then make sure because this is super important make sure that you type in at the end standard dot share um, you're gonna see a bunch of text uh, go on the screen as soon as you hit enter and um, what it did is it downloaded the file standard dot share um, to your home directory so at this point um, I went ahead and cleared the terminal so it's easy for to see and then uh, I listed the files there so you could see standard.share is there. So then the uh, next command you want to do is do sh and then standard.share. What that does is it extracts the um, information out of that and uh, go ahead and creates a folder. So now when I show the files again, you see CSLIB, um, CS library. Um, that uh, that folder contains all the instructed, extracted information so you want to go ahead and uh, change directories by pre uh, typing CD and then CS library and then uh, I'm showing you the files again so there's a couple in there you want to type in the command make um, that'll go ahead and uh, compile a bunch of files and create a GCCX script so now you see there's more files because I should show in the files again um, and so at this point what you want to do is you want to go ahead and type uh, CP for copy and then you want to designate GCCX and then uh, another space and you want to go ahead and write the tilde symbol or excuse me uh, slash bin slash and then GCCX and it's going to say you can't do it because I, in this video, of course, forgot to become super user. And bin is a protected file or folder. So you can go ahead and write sudo and then two exclamation points. And that will copy your previous command. And then ask for the uh, super user password. So once you have go ahead and done that copy. Um, so at this point, I went ahead and changed back to my home directory to uh, test out the... Uh, compiling that I had just done. Um, so I did uh, CD and then at that point you can type in GCCX and then your file that you wish to compile. Um, you know I put in documents ECS30 because uh, you have to specify where the files at and then hyphen O for the output and then uh, once again you have to specify where you want the file to be outputted so I put documents ECS30 and then squared um, without the .c for the executable file but at this point assuming you've done everything correctly your file should compile into an executable file which you can then run and uh, that's uh, just about it thanks for watching